I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys, and I wanted to feature a small business that I have been um, ordering things from for several years now, and I just love her products and thought I would share it with you guys because you guys might be interested in some of this stuff too. So yeah, I have been ordering things from her for I, I think three to five years or better, and um, I found her on Facebook, and um, I have now spread her information to several of our friends and family, and um, she just makes really great quality stuff for our four-legged friends. So I wanted to kind of come on here and show you some of her stuff because it is just super cute and really, really well made, like I said. So um the company I'm talking about today is Howling Creations, and um, she is now based out of Michigan. She used to be in um, Florida, but she is now back up this way for the last couple years. So um, really, really great stuff. And she's so creative and flexible with everything I give to her. So um, basically, she makes all kinds of different colors and scarves and leashes and you name it, pretty much anything for our four-legged friends she can come up with. And she's able to do it in anything that fabric is able to come in or even gross grain ribbon. So I just have an assortment of some of the colors she's done for me in the past here. And um, I have too many dachshunds and you're going to see them here shortly. But I wanted to just show so they have um, regular like just different patterns. This is one of their um, Easter collars. We have this really cute Jurassic Park one and Stormtroopers, Harry Potter, obviously. Um, my husband's a huge fan of the Detroit Red Wings. So we have one of those an Ohio State collar because OHIO, you know, we got to represent and um, I just love her stuff, and she's so fun to work with because she likes all kinds of different fandoms and stuff too, especially Harry Potter. So she's always looking for really cool fabric. And if there's a fabric that you have that you wanted to create into something, that's doable too. But she has got tons and tons and tons of different fabrics, and every type of theme, color, genre, whatever you can think of, she has it. So a lot of times you can just um, message her or call her and say, hey, I'm looking for a collar you know, for St. Patrick's Day, and she can then literally send you a bunch of different fabric swatches that she has, and you can choose from one of those, or she can um, get one from you, or you can source it for her, however you'd like to do it. But she actually sent me a couple things that I had special ordered for my dogs and my sister's dogs, because um, she's got some big dogs, so I wanted to be able to show those to you guys today, since I just received them in the mail. So I'm going to go through these first. So these are collars for um, larger breed dogs. So um, labs and golden retrievers, huskies, anything like that. Uh, you definitely could use this size. But one of the nice thing about her collars is they all have webbing in here. Um, so they are just as strong as a seatbelt. And then she uses really great hardware. Now, if you wanted, you can also get, um, she has metal snap hooks that you can use and um, you can get the metal here as well but uh, honestly the plastic hold up really really well so I don't feel like it's needed I know the metal is a little bit more expensive just because the hardware is more expensive for her to get but um, yeah it's th the plastic works just fine but if you do want the metal because it is pretty too um, you can do that as well so this one is a ribbon that she has stitched onto uh, the webbing with the fabric so that you get the stability of the webbing but the cuteness of whatever fabric or ribbon. So um, she actually asked me what house I thought my um, nieces were in, so my, my niece puppies were in, and then what my girls are in. So one of my dogs is definitely a Hufflepuff, and the other one, I have her as a Gryffindor, but she could definitely be Slytherin as well. So, um, so she's able to customize that by adding those different colors in there. So um, this one is for one of my nieces and she is a Ravenclaw like me. And as you can see, it's super cute. Again, very, very sturdy and these can all be extended to whatever size your dog needs. We have this one that again is a ribbon just because it was such a cool pattern of the Harry Potter ribbon. So we've got the Deathly Hallows and the Lightning Bolt with the words Harry Potter. And then this one's green for my niece that is a Slytherin. And then, you know, you can just take it and put it to whatever size you need. This one's super cute. It's just got the little Harry glasses with the Lightning Bolt. And it's a metallic gold on there. Um, super clean, super classic, but really fun. 
And then this one, I love this one. I actually asked her for this fabric because I knew the fabric existed because my sister found the fabric um, when she made my camera strap. So I asked if she could make a collar out of that. So we ordered some for her and she was able to make a collar out of it too. So super fun. And this one is basically the bigger version of the small guy there that my girls have, but it has this really fun striping with all the different houses on there and the Hogwarts logo. And then again, my uh, this niece is a Gryffindor, so we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. And then I actually had this one made for one of my friend's dogs, and she's definitely a puff, so we have this one. Super cute. So those are the the bigger breed dogs and she can even do two inch collars so these are her one inch collars she's got um pretty much any size you think you need for different breeds so um belgian malinois my parents have she gets a two inch martingale collar um and then she can even do thinner collars than this for really small toy breeds of dogs or even for cats um so you know, she can do all that. And for some of the cats, I know she's even gotten creative and done some that have had like elastic in them and all kinds of things. So, um, you know, like I said, she's, she's really creative and she's able to do a lot of things. So these are some collars I just had her make for my girls. So again, I loved, loved, loved this fabric so much that I was like, hey, can you make some Deathly Hallow collars for my girls? So I have two of these. And then... I wanted some new spring ones, spring, summer, besides just their um, jelly beans for Easter. So we got this adorable bumblebee fabric. And it's got little glitter on the wings. So cute. But yeah, um, so I just wanted to show you guys these. And um, I'm going to put links to her website, Instagram, Facebook, all that down below definitely go and check her out. I love that she's a small business and I love that she creates such quality work. And um, really the sky's the limit. You can do any sports team, you can do any fandom, any pattern, any anything. She's made really cute little collars for weddings for people that have little bow ties that you could slip on there. Um, she even did one that I think had like pearls all over it. So definitely can, um, you know, talk with her and she can give you all kinds of different ideas of what to do with your collar. And uh, I'm going to go outside here and we're going to show my girls in their collars. I know this is a little different than something I would show on here, but I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love that we can, you know, display our favorite fandoms with our four-legged friends as well. So, um, yeah, go check her out. Give her some love. I'm going to put her information in the description down below, um, her website, Facebook, and Instagram. And then um, just to give you guys an idea of pricing, the 5 8 inch width collar is uh, $12, and I believe that only comes in standard hardware. I don't think you can get the all metal, but I'm not 100% sure on that then she has her one inch wide collars here for the larger breed dogs and those run for $15 with standard hardware $20 with all metal hardware and you can get a martingale collar for $20 as well then she has her two inch wide collars which are for your really large breed dogs like Belgian Malinois Great Danes etc and those range from $20 with standard hardware and $25 for a martingale collar. She has things like hiker's paracord leashes. She can make leashes out of this fabric and the webbing as well. 
um, and the paracord leash runs for $25. Then you can get accessories like scarves and bows. She has the bows that you can add on for $5, and then the slide-on scarf is two-sided, and so that is $10, but you'd be able to put two different fabrics on there if you'd like. And then um, you also can get these embroidered. So if you would like your pet's name embroidered or anything you want, you could put your address, anything like that, um, you could definitely have that embroidered on there for you. And she can do that with whatever color thread would match the collar um, or stand out from it, whatever you'd like. And that is an additional $5. So like I said, go give her some love. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I love that I'm able to put some Harry Potter on my dogs. And my husband likes that he can put Star Wars and Jurassic Park and his favorite sport teams on there. So um, yeah, if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.